Hello everybody, welcome to Bass and Bonsai. We're out very early and we're not getting the boat out yet because I think there's still another rainstorm coming through and this isn't even the place we're going to fish today. But I'm going to try to put together a quick uh, little topwater test session with this setup right here. Now this is a combo I didn't even really see coming. I ordered this rod, I didn't really know an intention, then I had the lingual ordered also. And I really didn't plan on combining these because of I was putting the lingo with the uh, my Tatula rod. But then last night this rod came in and I just, those colors and it all kind of went together. And I was like, I'm going to stick it back on this and we'll try it. So we just got the topwater bait in. Tried it first time yesterday. A little miniature whopper plopper. So we're going to jump out here and let's get a good shot of this. Look. Let's see if you guys can see it. Look at that combo. Oh, yes. So anyway, I'm going to put you guys on the chesty, and we're just going to hit it right through here, probably along this dam. See what we can do on top water, get an overall impression on the rod, the reel, and the new lure. Everything is new in the last few weeks. Just picked it up, and we're running out of time to fish the, this fall. It's going to be turning cold here pretty quick. Next weekend's uh, Halloween. That's how far we in, are into uh, the fall, right? So buckle up and hang on. Let's catch some largemouth bass or try. Okay, boys and girls, let's go. Now, I ain't going to lie. I was going to head work right up that way up the dam, start here kind of deal. But right shortly after I talked to you guys a second ago, I had the camera off. Something blew up right up there along the bank, and it sounded kind of big. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump down here. Now I didn't put my muck boots on. I'm hoping this is dry enough and I don't get too nasty just with my cowboy boots. But anyway. Hopefully you guys can make out. Now you can't reel too fast or it starts twirling. Because I have fished this reel and this bait yesterday, the rod is the first time testing it all out. And that's the Toma. That isn't real cork. But uh, we don't care. And this Toma does, it's like $31 off AliExpress. It does come with two tips. We have the light tip on now. Now I probably will need to loosen the drag if we hook in anything big. I just need a couple fish. Now what's happening is we, if you guys can tell by the clouds, storms have come through, and this thing does freaking cast good. Storms have come through, but we have more coming, more expected, so I'm gonna move on up there. We're gonna to try to we're gonna chase after whatever that big dog was. And this is pretty shallow, so I, I might need to just throw throw farther out along the bank, not right up against it. Normally, anyway, let's get on up here. Normally, when I fish this place, this whole area here is what I call the dead zone. I have done good one time before out here. I caught a real nice one on that three-quarter ounce uh, lipless crank. But normally, this whole area is a dead zone. you got to get down this dam and then up into this cove area. And that's where something hit right up here. Let's get up here and catch this fish. Come on. Come on now. Get in there. There we go. Come on, catch this fish before the rain hits. Let's try a little further out. Oh, there it was. Did you see that? He totally, he knocked the bait up. All right, come on, let's do that again. 
He's still there. He did not get any sign of a hook. He just hit it, and he probably thinks he missed it, which he did, but he probably doesn't realize what it is. I do not have a backup bait. This is the only bait I have. I'm standing still. I'm kind of like a Drax. I'm so still, I'm invisible. If that fish looks my way, I look just like a tree. So anyway, come on. There we go. Right there. Oh yeah. Woo. <laughs> we are on a bass. Hang on boys and girls. Stay pinned, you little donkey. Get over here. Get over here. Look at that fish. Huh? Look at that shot. What do you guys think? I think it's all legit. I think everything that we're testing out, uh-oh. When they're like this, you gotta grab them quick and just know that you got them. Don't let go, or otherwise you'll end up with the hook in you and the bass shaking. And I gotta hook them anyway. Those hooks are sharp, but this is a brand new bait. I hooked one yesterday down in here, so that's how sharp the hooks are. New anyway, we'll have to see how long they last. But look at that, look at that shot. Doesn't that look beautiful? Come here, come here you pretty little thing. Let's watch him swim off, he won't jump. Oh, get back, he about got you. He got me a little wet. Okay, guess what boys and girls, we the rain, it's, it's like the skies have parted. And this little tree just happened to be there, like looking all cool and cut out. Perfect picture opportunity. So I'll try to put the link down here. Whoa, below this video. This is just me, a quick little glimpse into what I just picked up. We're still, oh my God, did I get this all tangled up? No. Still doing some testing. But this bait is legit. It's only three, almost, well, four bucks, basically, shipped to you. I'm going to order the whole lineup, and I'll try to put the link down below. But it's the John Koo, and I don't know if they actually call it a Whopper Plopper. It's actually not shaped truly like a Whopper Plopper exactly, but it's... It, that's what it is. It's a little miniature whopper plopper. Very light. I call it, I just kind of generalize all my baits. Can't remember how many grams it said it was, but I, that's kind of in my little eighth ounce. I don't think it's a, I, it may be close to, yeah, it may be close to a quarter ounce. I'm not sure.